Jelaine Fenner here with Exit Realty, proudly supporting this newscast. Now, from our High Definition Studios, this is Local Edition. Hello, and thanks for watching this Local Edition. I'm Eric Watilla. An annual summer event took place in Cadillac over the weekend, drawing visitors despite challenging weather. Benjamin Ari has more on this year's Lakefront Days Festival. Benjamin? Eric, the weather didn't entirely cooperate during this year's Lakefront events in downtown Cadillac, but that didn't stop people from coming out to enjoy the festivities. We had a big crowd here on Friday night. We're hoping to have another big crowd here on Saturday night. A new schedule and unpredictable weather made this an experimental year. In general, um, this year we were only open Friday and Saturday, where in years past we've been open Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So last night being our first night, um, I think we had close to 2,500 people down here last night. You know, not all at once, on and off. Um, I'm hoping to have at least the same tonight. Um, of course, with the weather the way it is, the sun is out now, so hopefully people will come down. Um, there is a big classic car show going on later on today, so hopefully that will be a big draw for people to come on down here tonight. But early turnout seems solid, despite the changes. I've seen more people from Cadillac here this year than in previous years. And I think just the way that everything's going in, you know, around us and everything, more people came down and supported the local event that's going on down here. I think because of what's going on, people are coming to the home events, they're not traveling far away. So I think that had a lot of impact on our uh, turnout last night. People are still uh, traveling around, but you know, I think a lot more were for the local people. Both young and old had their favorite events. Um, I think it's cool how they have like free samples of stuff and like you can, pl uh, they have like those suffer kids here and like balloons and face painting. The blow up tents and the, uh, the antique cars. Rain or shine, the focus was on enjoying a fun weekend in a beautiful area. Hopefully we'll, you know, people will come down have dinner down here, enjoy, enjoy the free music. Uh, I mean, the music's all free, the, all the stuff for the kids is free. So it's worth coming down, you know, supporting a local community event and enjoying some free music, um, some dinner with the family, and uh, just enjoying the, the Cadillac area. Now, Lakefront Days is planned to be an annual event. Information is available online at lakefrontdays.org. I'm Benjamin Ari for Local Edition. Now back to you, Eric. Well, thanks, Benjamin. Coming up next on Local Edition, a local library is focusing on Japanese animation and comics with an annual event. We'll explain next. Stay with us. Bob Evans Restaurant, located at Cadillac's North End, offers a great home-style menu with a comfortable family dining environment. Stop by any day for breakfast, lunch, or dinner and enjoy friendly service with an excellent meal. Bob Evans is proud to support coverage of the Cadillac community. And welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Eric Watilla. The Cadillac Wexford Public Library is focusing on Japanese comics and animation with a teen event this weekend. The library is holding their second annual anime and manga con at the Cadillac High School cafeteria. The event takes place on August 16th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It features anime movies both for young audiences and older teens. A Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament, fan fiction, and many other activities will also be held. Horizon Books and Family Video are participating in the event, taking orders for both manga and anime. Food will be available as well. To learn more about this event and other library events, head online to cadillaclibrary.org. Well, that does wrap up this local edition. I'm Eric Watilla. Thanks for watching. <laughs>